What is up everyone? Uh, welcome back to another episode. Um, today marks the 14th stop on the J1 League series. So uh, I am actually currently in Sapporo, Hokkaido. Yes sir. So uh, today is uh, May 20th. So, uh, I'm sorry, May 19th. It's a Friday. It is currently 1.27 p.m. Starting my day a little late. Um, I was actually, I got up early and I was watching the America versus Chivas game. Uh, you guys have to excuse my voice. I woke up with a sore throat uh, like a day or two ago. I, um, don't worry about it. I'm good. But yeah, uh, so I arrived here in Sapporo about two, three days ago. And it's been a pretty cool time. Met some pretty cool people so far. Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, today I'm going to be uh, heading over to Sapporo Dome to catch the game between Consadolo Sapporo and Kyoto Sanga. It's gonna be over at, uh, it's gonna, the game starts at 7 p.m. So I have a couple hours to spare. Um, I mean, six hours until this game starts. So actually, I was gonna head over to Odori Park, but uh, I think I'm gonna leave that for uh, later. I'm gonna try and hit um, the Sapporo Beer Museum right now. I believe it's free and I believe you don't need a reservation as long as it's uh, your own self guided one, um, which is totally fine by me. But yeah, uh, it should take me about 30 minutes to get there via trolley or via train. Uh, whatever it is, I'm excited. Sapporo is my favorite beer of all time, I feel. Yeah, imported domestic of all time. So super stoked. Uh, yeah, should be able to make it in time. Uh, Sapporo is, I, I believe it's the fourth, no, sorry, the, the fifth largest city in Japan. Um, it doesn't feel like it though, because it's very vast. The city itself is very vast, so it doesn't feel like too confined, uh, opposed to like Yokohama or Tokyo or Osaka. Even Nagoya felt like that. So, it's been chill, it's been really cool, it's been quiet. It hasn't been too crazy, too chaotic, which has been nice, because I was uh, in Tokyo for the past week and a half. So. It's a nice little change of uh, atmosphere. Yeah, it's been beautiful out here too, the weather. The weather has been uh, phenomenal. I actually climbed Mount Moiwa the other day. That was ridiculous, ridiculous. Uh, and then to be rewarded with the view of the whole city, whoo, absolutely phenomenal. So I actually didn't take the train up here. I flew from uh, Tokyo Narita Airport to New Chitose airport over here in Sapporo and it's like an hour away from Sapporo I guess the main central part um, it wasn't too bad uh, to get here though I just hopped on one bus and that was it it was chill it was only it only cost me about a thousand yen so that was really nice as well um, I didn't document that whole journey just because I mean it was a few days apart and I mean I don't think you guys would want to see that anyway though so you want to see the actual city of Sapporo is fine. So yeah, you see this little strip. This is Odori Park. It's the beginning of it, and it goes all the way down, all the way down, all the way up to a uh, Sapporo Tower, which I will be making my way uh, towards it later, I believe. I just feel I should get Sapporo uh, the Beer Museum out of the way first, you know, and then come back to the central part of town, and then from there we'll just go straight to the dome. Which I actually passed by on the bus and it looks amazing from the outside. So super excited again. Can't believe it's a 14th stop, yo. Wow, just today and three more. Wow. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what an amazing time I've been having. Yeah. I mean, I wish I didn't have the sore throat, but it, it has gotten better, thankfully. A couple of uh, the day yesterday, I wasn't able to speak all that well. It's just. Yeah, this is the station. So this is the train station, guys. Yeah, I realized I didn't have to take the train. I could have just walked. <laughs> it's all good though. It's 
kind of nice uh, checking out the train system. For sure, I'm going to have to take some kind of public transportation later to get to the stadium. Hopefully, I'm going the right way. Get my cross over. Oh wow, it's really pretty. These are the lilacs. I think they're lilacs. So there's actually there's actually a like lilac festival going on right now at the Dory Park. So uh, I definitely will take a stroll down there. So it's a lilac festival. They got all kinds of food. It's pretty neat. Um, different kind of cuisines, foreign cuisines, and then they have a ramen show going on as well. So I might just go with ramen and oh, we'll see what I come across. I did try uh, ramen from there from one of those spots there the other day. So that was good. Here, finally. Sapporo Museum. Here, museum. This is nice. Should I go this way? Or I... Let's go this way. This is pretty. It's very old school. You got a souvenir shop? Of course you do. That's not good It's really pretty though. Alright, let's go check it out. So it's free of charge. Cool. Oh, well, that was it. I think that was the end of the uh, museum. Uh, yeah, now it's time to try. I think I'm gonna do the the, the flight. Where's the flight? Oh, tasting set. I'm gonna do that. This is cool. Alright guys, um, please insert the money first. Let's do the tasting set. Cool.
All right, guys. Which one should I start with? Mini money. I go by itself. Money. Start with the black. Come by. They also give me these little nuts. Pretty good. All this for 800 yen. Not bad. Yeah, so um, I finished with a classic first because I want to save the best for last, which is the black label. So I really do like the black label the most, then the classic, and then the last one's a Kaita Kushi beer. They're all good, but that. So this is number one, this is number two, this is number three for me. This is, these are the hops. It looks like a nug. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take off, yo. Probably gonna go check out the Suvi shop and head back to Adore Park. Alright, let's go check out the museum shop. Alright guys, I decided to just get these three items. Sticker, it's the original logo. Little uh, keychain thing. And it's little, look at this mini Sapporo. I'm never gonna open it. I just love the way it looks. <laughs> so cool. Cool, just left the Sapporo Beer Museum. Beautiful place. Admission was free. Beer was delicious. I kind of was thinking about going in here in the garden shop. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head over to Adori Park and see what I can find out there. Yeah, guys, so the museum was pretty cool. It honestly was just uh, like one whole floor. It's kind of nice. Um, I did get to learn a lot. Um, apparently, Sapporo Brewery is the only uh, brewery in the world to grow their own hops and barley, which is insane. That's insane. Yeah, so they're the only brewery in the whole world to grow both their malts, I'm sorry, their barley and their hops. Yeah, that's pretty extraordinary if you ask me. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Sapporo is my favorite beer, so I'm just happy to have gone in there. I got a uh, sample of three different kinds of beers. The classic, the Black Label, and oh, I can't pronounce the last one. King Satsu, something like that. But they were all really good. They are all really good. And I would have been more than happy to uh, have another round, but... Apparently we were limited to 30 minutes there. I had uh, been there for like 20-ish. You know, could have squeezed in one more, but... It's all good. Got places to be. So yeah, I'm walking over to Adori Park now. It'll take me about 20 minutes from here, I believe. And I'm gonna see if I can just grab some ramen there. Hopefully it's not too busy. Yeah, at the ramen show. If not, I'll find somewhere nearby. I've been wanting to try the ice cream here. I probably shouldn't be having ice cream right now because of my throat, but I hear Hokkaido's renowned for their ice cream. So I'm gonna have some ice cream, I hope. I really do. If not, then I will be really sad. It's an incredible looking building. Really pretty. So that's the Sapporo Tower. It's quite nice. 
Not too big. These pretty little lilacs. So cool. Oh, just look at the tower right there. Oh my god. Go on, just go, just tell. Sheesh. Yeah, so the tower up there. I don't have time to climb it, but it's pretty nice. It's supposed to uh, be a replica of the Eiffel Tower. Kind of like Tokyo Tower. Well guys, this is uh, another little uh, staple here up in Sapporo. This is a clock tower. I don't have enough time to go inside, but it's really full of uh, history. All right, um, we are getting to a door park. It's like halfway. As you can see, there's a support tower. And this here is uh, Odori Park. Odori Cohen. This place is magical, man. Especially at night. It's such a place to be. Uh, So yeah, the Lilac Festival is going on right now. This is the Lilac Festival. Um, so busy. It's quite pretty, yo. I don't think this was on the other day. That's quite nice. Hey, I'm walking over to the um, food section area. It's that way. It's a couple of blocks down, so bear with me. <laughs> we just snatched it. Oh, no. So sad. Oh, I'd be mad too. I'd be tight. Yikes. All right, guys, this is the beginning of the food. Doesn't look too busy right now. These are all the foreign foods. I think I want ramen. Let's see something that catches my eye, but I didn't see anything that caught my eye yesterday. Except for the coffee, but I don't want coffee. Yeah, I'm not eating a burger here, yo. 
I already had a slice of pizza right um, under my hostel, and it wasn't good. But yeah. <laughs> Yo, it honestly smells so fire. I don't know where it's from though. Alright, so this is a Sapporo ramen show. So you basically pay 980 yen. And they give, distribute a little ticket, a voucher. And then you'll um, claim your uh, item within the area over there. Choice of ramen. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. And then you go to uh, go at any of these stations. So I had this the other night. It was good. I want to try something else. I go where the line is. Honestly, don't know what to get. This looks pretty fire. Damn, all these places look good. I'm kind of scalloping seafood ramen. No, I'm good on that. I don't want no seafood today. I want some that has corn. The corn just eats. Um, browsing. I think I'm gonna go with this one, guys. It looks like it has corn. So. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for the corn. It's not too busy. I might pick up later. Alright. Sick. I was gonna get mine with egg, but I just got over it. It's not bad. So now I'm gonna find somewhere to. So sit down. Alright, it's a good Alright, yo, just finished eating up my bowl of ramen. A lot better than the last one so job well done um, <laughs> so yeah now I'm uh, just walking down Odori Park but I'm gonna be heading over to a little like ice cream parlor apparently they like pair ice cream with like liqueur so yeah let's go do that it's called a uh, milk Mura. Uh, I'm excited it's a short walk it's probably like 10 minutes from here now This is a sharpener cake. I'm not gonna be going down it, but I just thought I'd show y'all. It's fucking Santa, bro. <laughs> That's kinda cool. <laughs> We're uh, pretty close now. There's the Mega Donkey. I was in there the other day. There you go. Yeah, this area is like the downtown of uh, Sapporo. It's kind of like Totombori or Namba, Shibuya, Shinjuku. It's kind of uh, similar to. Let's see if I can find this place. It's not too busy right now. It's a couple of uh, Sapporo fans. You see them over there. Shit, yeah, I don't know where I'll find it. So it's actually in this one. 
I believe. We just gotta figure out where. Uh huh. Hmm. I don't see it. Oh, I think this is him. This is kind of cute. I don't know what to order them. Should we try it for you? Alright, so this is so cool, guys. Basically, I have some ice cream. You grab some ice cream. Put it on the edge. Grab your liqueur. And then, you enjoy. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. I never thought the core and ice cream would go. So good. The ice cream itself is delicious. <laughs> wow, I just left Milk Mura and oh my goodness. That place was stupendous. Uh, best tasting ice cream I've ever had in my life, ever. Um, and then to accompany it with liqueur, three different, four different kinds of liqueur. I, I didn't even know you could mix liqueur with ice cream. That was so good, guys. I had two full cups of ice cream. Um, I had four different liqueurs. Uh, the caramel one was my favorite, it's French. And then he hooked me up with some coffee and a little macadamia nut cookie. Man, that place was amazing. It definitely would come back easily. Wow. Hokkaido does not play with their ice cream, guys. Amazing stuff. Anyways, I am, uh, I'm heading over to the train station now so I can catch the train and head over to Sapporo Dome. It is currently 6.04. Should be there by 6.30ish, 6.40. Again, my voice, can't get used to it, but <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind. It's crazy, it sounds so weird. Cool, we are here. Should be able to catch the next train. If not, we should still be fine. As long as I get there by seven, we are chill. Cool guys, just got to Fukuzumi Station. Shouldn't be too long of a walk from here. Jersey. Oh yeah, it's that way. Oh my god. What is that thing? <laughs> that looks like a hot air balloon or something. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting experience. There I go. Okay. 
here guys welcome to the 14th stop Sapporo Dome here in uh, Sapporo, Hokkaido home to Hokkaido, Consadola, Sapporo that's a crazy ass looking stadium if you ask me exciting definitely a lot different than the previous uh, couple that I've been to that's pretty dope nice game starts in about like 45 minutes give or take but look at the stadium let's go see where we're at see that's good exciting fucking hell this is nice this is crazy man Looks fucking insane. Oh my god, this is sick, bro. This is so fucking dope. Wow. So this is pretty nice. <coughs> the sun is setting behind us. 2030 Olympics are going to be hosted here. Winter Olympics. This is this team store. It looks like it. Sun setting. Cool. Let's go look in here. Cool, got number nine. It's a little postcard. Let's go check out the store real fast. See if we can find a pen or something. Oh, wow. Cool, so I couldn't find a pen, but I got this little, uh, like, uh, memorabilia thing. It tells me uh, today's game. It's kind of nice. I wonder if they have this at uh, every other game that I've been to. I haven't seen any, to be honest. The one at, uh, um, the Japan National Stadium, they were sold out. Yeah. But it's all good. It only cost me 500 yen, by the way. But yeah, guys, I'm inside. I just went through the, um, the uh, store. So now I'm just walking around. I'm gonna go locate my seat. Wow, they have like Subway here. Here, let me. Subway, we got KFC, we got all kinds of goodies. I am gonna go look for my seat and probably grab a beer. All right, I got this beer, Sapporo uh, Kurasiko, for 750 yen. It's not bad. And I got a lid. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Anyways, uh, figured out where I'm going. So just uh, gonna wrap around here, and I should be getting to my uh, section shortly. Let's see how my seats are, man. I don't. I honestly don't remember. Yeah. Seems like they have really good food in here, yo. I mean, most of these stadiums have had amazing food. So yeah, I'm uh, aisle on hundred six.
<laughs> this is sick. It's giving me a uh, Mercedes Benz vibes. It's pretty nice though, honestly. So I believe the World Cup was hosted here back in 2002 as well. Fish is sick, bro. Pretty nice heat, yo. So, uh, mm, I think Zapporo wins today. I think, uh, do 2-0, 2-0 to Zapporo. Pretty cool.
bom. Alright guys, um, I left the stadium, uh, I'm going to keep this uh, brief and short just because of my voice, obviously, but I uh, had an amazing time, stadium was beautiful in and out, uh, the match itself was incredible, honestly this is probably one of the best games I've seen, um, yeah they were both, it was just back and forth throughout the whole game, the whole match, both sides had plenty of opportunities, um, Sapporo just happened to uh, finish finished both of theirs and yeah they took all three points um yeah the stadium was super easy to get to it was awesome i just took one train i'm walking over to a different station to head back to my hostel um yeah i mean it was cool uh there wasn't too many people in um in the stadium itself but it was still a pretty cool environment atmosphere i had a blast here in Sapporo. um Sapporo is a beautiful, beautiful place to come to. <laughs> it's super underrated. Uh, right now, the weather is amazing, so I hear it does tend to get a little colder. But right now, it's been great. Um, but yeah, uh, I really enjoyed my time here. I enjoyed my day today. Um, I felt like I got a lot done today. Got a lot of exploring. Sapporo Beer Museum was amazing. Uh, that fly I had was great. The little ice cream shop was fucking dope, yo. Honestly, I would definitely go back to that. Uh, the ramen I had today was very well, uh, very good as well. So yeah, uh, overall, a uh, great day, great uh, um, adventure today. And hopefully I can come back one day. So yeah, um, I actually have a flight early in the morning at 7, 7 or 8 a.m. And I'm actually going to be heading down to Fukuoka. And I'm going to be catching a game tomorrow as well in Fukuoka. So it's going to be Avispa Fukuoka versus uh, Urawa Reds. That's early. Uh, no, that's in the afternoon. That's at 1 p.m. My flight gets there around 10 a.m., 11 a.m. So I think the stadium is really close to the airport. So I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to explore Fukuoka before. But if not, I mean, I'm still going to I'm still gonna head over to the stadium as soon as I can and, you know, catch the match there, vlog as well. So I'm probably going to vlog my way out of here so you can have an idea of how I got here. So, um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Again, I apologize for my voice, my throat. Uh, I don't know if you guys are able to understand me. I think I can understand myself, like, very little. It's such a trip hearing me talk like this. <laughs> it's been a while since this happened. But, uh, yeah, so, anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, um, I am the Football Ronin. Appreciate you all. Uh, I hope you enjoy this one, and I'll catch you guys on the next. Football Ronin out. Take care, guys.